rain or shine, day or night, win or lose, Paula Grooms has been there for Clemson men's basketball like no one else. That's right. Sports director Beth Poole takes a look at how Mrs. Grooms has supported her Tigers with her tradition that started by chance and is now going strong 15 years later. It's, it's just a lot of love. The day before every Clemson road game, you'll find Paula Grooms posted up on the tarmac in her Tigers gear. I'm looking for the bus. It started 15 years ago. And we saw the bus come up to the plane. Players got out, out of the bus and on the plane, flew away, did their battle, came back. We came back to see them land, got on the bus and left. Nobody to to welcome them or say good luck or it'll be better next. Just no contact with the person. And it just broke my heart. And a tradition was born. And I just thought somebody needs to be there. And it just became my mission. We started doing it and have done it for a long, long time. Hey, how are you yeah, doing? How you doing? Oh, it's so good, good to good see, see you. you. It means the world to us. Um, you know, seeing Mrs. Grooms, um, rain or sunshine, you know, it could be 3 a.m. in the morning. She's going to be out there with a smile uh, and a comforting hug. Y'all have a good game. Yes, man, we will. I've been here at 3.30 in sleet, so <laughs> it doesn't matter what time. Whether they're the leading scorer. Hey, Hana. A freshman. Hey, how are you? Good to you. You keep getting those good shots. I'm so proud of you. Or the manager. Your mama's gift was so precious. Mrs. Grooms knows each of them. How you feeling? I'm good. Y'all go whip up on them. It's so important because so many of the children are here from other countries or, or way across the country and don't have family. And I just want to be their grandmama, their family, somebody they can sit and talk with if they need it. I enjoy just being there for them. Through the highs and the lows, Mrs. Grooms makes a difference. Hey, how are you? You just keep shining. So much goes into these games that people don't realize. We put so much work in. And, you know, to go to a, go on a road trip and, you know, come back unsuccessful, it can be really tough. Like, it can be really tough on everyone. But uh, she's there um, with a comforting hug and some comforting words. And it just means so much, man. It's, it, it really does mean a lot. Great to see you. Appreciate you. I love you so much. Love you so much, too. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. I love greeting them when they tumble out of that plane all giggles and happy and winning. That's, that's a great joy. But if they lose, they, they seem to need it more, and I'm glad I'm there for them. I don't want them to come home losers and unhappy and get on that bus and go with nobody loving them, no matter what. Her love, important in those moments, leaving an impression they'll carry on long past their days at Clemson. One thing I'll take away, uh, you know, from Mrs. Grooms, probably for the rest of my life, is just, you know, show people that you love them. She shows the people she loves her love, and I think it really means a lot, so. With the team all boarded, Mrs. Grooms waves goodbye before sending a video to their families. I let them know that their son's up there. <laughs> I got them off the, off the ground. <laughs> She'll stay and watch as they lift off and rise high in the sky until they're finally out of sight. They usually turn left, they may go right. Until she returns the next day to welcome them home. Win or lose, rain or shine. Just my love for them, I hope, will shine through to other people. For Fox Carolina News. Yeah, we're going left. <laughs> I'm Beth Wool. Well, I think Miss Groom, you shine on your own. Well, she also sees the team off from Little John Coliseum when the team buses to a game in 2019. The Men's Basketball Players Lounge was named in honor of Paula and Franklin Grooms. God bless Mrs. Grooms. Yes. What a story. <laughs>